So I wanted to find out exactly what people think of Brawl Stars. So I throw on my Sherlock Holmes outfit for this one, and I'm gonna dive deep into the shadow realm that is the Brawl Stars App Store reviews. Wish me luck, boys. Okay, here we are with every review that's ever been written about Brawl Stars. I'm gonna start off with some of the good ones, and then we'll dive into the cesspool that is the negative ones. Okay, so starting us off here, we have this guy who says Super Self never disappoints best mobile battle royale by far i think it's actually more of a moba like a 3v3 game is showdown more popular than 3v3s let me know in the comments because i have no idea so anonymous gamer ca says great game true it is a great game this is a great game uh, yeah he reiterates his point this is the game that i actually will take time to write a review on all right let's see what he has to say here let's open up this uh pandora's box if you will boys uh it's great on ipads that's true and I love how you can play multiplayer with friends. Also great. It is definitely not a pay to win game. Uh, I respectfully, objectively, wholeheartedly disagree. Any game where you can pay real money, real currency to buy items in the game, like bra boxes, that give you a specific advantage over someone else who doesn't buy those boxes. It's obviously not as pay to win as like Clash of Clans or Clash Royale, but it's still that money aspect is there. He continues on to say, although it takes a while to get down the trophy road to get brawlers, it is a great game. He continues on to say, although it takes a while to get down the trophy road to get brawlers, it's a great game. But I do have one suggestion. Uh oh, this, this can only go badly, I think. The amount of trophies you get per game. For instance, if you get 10th place, you can lose up to three trophies? <gasps> I would love it if it was zero trophies. No, you can't just, like he wants the game to be like, you get trophies, you get trophies. You came in 10th place? Ah, here's some trophies for you, pal. Like, <laughs> it's not gonna work. Jeff just straight up says, this is a game that I really love. It's adorable. Your game is really cool and I don't even know what it was made from, but it was, oh, it was a smile on my face what 610 barber says kill death ratio best game out i love it more people should download it and play it who, who is paying this guy by the way my kids wife and i are all hooked it'll be awesome uh if you can see your kill death ratio after each game that's a really good idea just more stats in general kill death ratio damage done damage taken could also be really important um all that sort of stuff like objective points and things like that could all be really cool to see ironically the next comment from big kippy says add stats love this game but please add stats after games it'd be so much better to see how many kills and how much damage you get i didn't just steal this guy's idea and then say it for the last comment i'm just this guy knows what he's talking about gamer tuck says please add controller support absolutely love this game and have been playing it on and off for years i just picked up a controller to play games on my phone and immediately booted up brawl stars to get back into it but there isn't any controller support there's controller devices that you can equip to your phone like bro if i'm playing cod mobile and i get killed by someone with a controller adapter for their phone i'm, I'm punching the air i swear to god i gotta fight someone from call of duty likes five night at freddy says awesome game one suggestion all right let's hear him out Brawl Stars is fun, action-packed, and addictive. Uh, are you, is it an ad read? Those are the three traits you want to think about when you make a game. But my one suggestion is the ability to favorite brawlers. Dude, I said the same thing for Power League. I think that you should be able to favorite the more meta brawlers or the brawlers that you find yourself playing the most in Power League. So you don't gotta scroll all the way through 55 brawlers to find the one that you wanna pick. I, I think this is actually a good idea. Cheyenne009 says, I don't get brawler and I don't get wins. That's a feels bad, man. Uh, but then there's just sad emojis. And then it's five stars. <laughs> I feel like this guy messed up. Eric says, best game. This beast, gem This not even English, what? All right, Sebastian, what do you got for us? Game good. Good game, very good. He's talking to it like it's a dog. Dungeon Mom says, Byron. I love to battle with Byron because he is so good to me. Is Byron just that much of a gentleman? My God. Okay, so I've read through some of the most favorable ones. Now let's head over to the most critical and just see what we can come across here. Young boy no cap says, how dare you? I was trying to log into my account and got banned. I wonder what this guy got banned for. Trash says, hands down, the worst mobile game ever. This game is so bad. How bad can it be? 
I bet you these guys just got killed in showdown by like a Shelly in a bush and they just <laughs> completely lost their minds. Yay yeah, yay yeah, 8798 says, how is matchmaking this bad? If you want to see what a human looks like with no thumbs and no brain, try to play a simple mobile game than Brawl Stars. This is the worst matchmaking in any game ever created and it needs to be stopped. Playing solo is great though. That's true. I think the 3v3 queues for this game and playing 3v3s in general can be pretty infuriating. Little Lit Guy says, fix it. All right, Bob the Builder, what do you got? This game is fun at the start, but as you are grinding it, you notice that you're playing with sweat slash people who have been playing forever. I recently just got Squeak and grinding him super hard, even though I just got him. So please fix your skill-based matchmaking so this game can be fun again than you i mean like you get matched up with people within your trophy range that's kind of how it works it, it it's not necessarily it's kind of skill based depending on the brawler you're playing if you're at a high trophy obviously you can play better players but shoddy hottie says bummed bring back siege true gh 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 etc says people hack this game's the worst they ever let you win. They give you the worst teammates. You never get a skin. They also never give you a period in your sentences ever. Delaware Wolf wrote a five paragraph essay here. Let's see. Unbelievably dirty. Most reviews are coming from children with minimal time spent. Here's a review from a 20K plus trophies. This game doesn't allow you to progress anything from playing. Everything revolves around getting points to open loot boxes. The most important and normally fundamental asset are based on randomness inside the boxes, sneakily promoting gambling to children. Here's what you can only get in boxes without spending money. Individual character experience, coins, new brawlers. Winning too much pairs you with horrifically unskilled teammates, low level characters, and people who significantly lower trophies. This is to ensure that you don't level too quick and stay in the game longer what supercell is valued at over five billion dollars you don't think they have teams hired specifically to keep you locked in as hardcore as they can while riding a line of legalities i still play the game but i honestly don't want to that's how good they are at deception and forcing addiction so i just read through this entire five paragraph essay comment and i don't even know what to think of it it's so stupid i'm just gonna let it there for a second so you guys can pause and read it and we're gonna move on stream says worst supercell game i mean heyday's up there right there's literally no trophy based matchmaking i'm getting teammates that have 1000 slash 5000 while i'm at 24000 my opponents are all 20000 this game needs a lot of work well a lot of people don't understand that matchmaking is skewed off of your brawler specifically not your overall trophy count and it seems to shine through in these reviews uh, a lot of people have said the same thing here and basically i think that'd be kind of interesting to make the matchmaking based off your total trophy count however it would be very annoying to play a new brawler at zero trophies but play against super sweaty people at way higher trophies it just doesn't make any sense they'd have to remake the entire matchmaking system to do this and it would just not like there's no point is what i'm saying what every girl needs says worst game on the app store i mean there are that's debatable nothing good about this game well again debatable alex i'm alex says my name is alex there really happy about that look supercell why are you keep matchmaking me lose no wonder people like you game lol i want you to give me 50 gems because you are making me lose splendid wolf just said mid l game <laughs> base take this guy says pay to win games. I'm 2000 trophies and I'm going against people who have every character unlocked and then they are fully maxed out. Don't recommend playing this L game. <laughs> this person says new character is way too good. True, they usually are to incentivize spending probably. Not playing the game until the new character is nerfed. Her range and damage combined make her way too tough to beat. So until she's nerfed, I'm not playing again. Honestly, I you can't fault this person for that. Big Beam says complain i can't get el primo it's really really not that hard if you play on a brand new account for like 20 minutes you'll probably end up getting primo mvd says lol low iq developers <laughs> magnese says throwers griefers feeders nothing has changed 
I will continue to bot and hack on this game until action is taken against me. Never. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's pretend that's not your Apple ID that you're communicating through or anything. This guy says bad, really bad internet. Well, it sounds like a personal problem, honestly. Although the servers do be sus sometimes. And our final review says poo game. That game is scam because when I run from prank, I'm running and I dodge almost so that game made and I don't get, but it said not dodge. I couldn't have said it any better myself. And that is going to be the end of the video. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I hopefully, fingers crossed, have a really cool video coming out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.